this is a very serious problem uh, that media women, female media workers face. We need to take it very seriously and we need to look at the problem comprehensively. First, in relation to the social media platforms. Second, in relation to the responsibility of the state. And thirdly, in relation to the responsibility of the media companies as employers towards their employees. Social media platforms need to recognize that online violence is a reality. At the same time, we need to ensure that the journalists and media workers can work online. So they need to involve women. They need to take a gender perspective right from the point of design of their products down to the content moderation and remedies that they provide, empowering the women, but at the same time, also ensuring that their products are safe, that they create a safe space for women journalists to, to, uh, and media workers to work online. Uh, the second thing is the government, the law enforcement, the police, the judiciary, uh, they have to take online violence as seriously as they do violence in the real world. They need to recognize that it's debilitating for women. It's actually a psychological attack on them. And it's, it's a serious issue. It's not just a tweet uh, when there are masses uh, mobbing actually that take place against women journalists, both because they are women, but also uh, because of the work that they're doing, then they need to be protected from attacks. And the law has to be more responsive, there needs to be support systems. Now, employers, the media companies too, have to take it very seriously to protect women, sometimes in the newsroom, but also when they're putting them out in the street to collect the news. So what we require is a comprehensive, multifaceted approach that takes online violence as seriously as violence in the real world. And that recognizes that women journalists are doubly at risk, both as women and as journalists. Well, I would like to work with all stakeholders, but particularly with the women themselves, because no one better than these women know what they're facing. So for me, uh, one criterion of success would be the empowerment and the inclusion of women media workers uh, in my work. I also believe that I would see success when there is greater awareness among the stakeholders, when states uh, uh, see this as a major issue, when media companies see this as a major issue, when social media platforms see it as a major issue, and more women decide to stay on as journalists. Uh, you know, the, the public trust in the media depends to a large extent as to whether the media represents society. Women are very much a part of society, very much a part of it. They must be very much a part of the democratic process. So when I see more women, younger women, uh, coming into this profession, staying in there, being able to contribute to it, that is what success will look like. It's a long-term effect. I'm not sure whether in three years or six years in the course of my uh, mandate this will happen, but this is what we need to work towards. Mm -hmm.